Mina, come by moi, Jesus freaking gamer here. I'm actually going to come at you with Exodus chapter 18 tonight. We're going to move back in the Old Testament a little bit because I was fi I found a verse as I was writing out the Bible today. I actually write out a Bible just for the means of memorization, dedication to the Lord. And I feel like it's a, just a good thing for me to do. To you, I, I've given God, I have I've given better English than that. I've given an extended version of that story in other in other messages, so I won't belabor that point. But as I was writing out the Word of God, found just I, I just found a verse where it was one of those points where it's like th this is it. This is th this is what it's all about right here. So we've got Jethro, Moses' father-in-law, coming to him in the middle of the wilderness after the Red Sea crossing. And Moses is like, yeah, God's done all this stuff for us. He delivered us out of the hand of the Egyptians with his mighty hand, with the ten plagues. And we even crossed the Red Sea and God get rid of the army pursuing us. It's been pretty awesome. So verse 10, Exodus chapter 18, verse 10. And Jethro said, Blessed be the Lord who has delivered you out of the hand of the Egyptians and out of the hand of Pharaoh and who has delivered the people from under the hand of the Egyptians. Now I know that the Lord is greater than all the gods, for in the very thing in which they behaved proudly, he was above them. And that is it right there. That is the point. Like what Israel was supposed to do as a nation was to be a light for all the other nations to show the nations this is how great our God is. Our God's the right God. Look at how good he is. Look at what he can do through us. And that's that's the point. They did it on a nationwide level. Sometimes I've wondered why didn't God like send out people to other nations? Why didn't that why didn't that happen? Doesn't God want God wants everyone saved now? Doesn't he want everyone saved back then as well? And the answer is yes, he did. And he used Israel as a means of communicating who he was to all the surrounding Gentile nations. And also, he did send out, as it turns out, prophets to those nations as well and gave the kings of those other nations very specific prophecies from Yahweh, the God of Israel. And, that, and that's it, Jethro, he saw. Jethro, it said that Jethro was a priest of Midian. Go to chapter 18, verse 1. And Jethro, the priest of Midian, Moses' father-in-law. He was a priest way back when Moses first met him as he was fleeing from Egypt for murder. So I'm guessing he was probably not a priest of Yahweh. Well, he changed his beliefs right here and there when he saw how magnificent God was. And I'm just like, and that's the whole point, to live our lives in such a way. Um, you know, if there's a nation out there that would claim to be Christian, America, I'm not so sure if it would claim to be Christian anymore. But for the people who are Christians, and if there is a nation who does claim to be Christian, to stand up and live our lives in such a way as to show the world, this is our God, this is Jesus Christ, this is who he is, and this is how good he is, in good and in bad times, in abundance and in poverty, in health, in sickness, in life and in death. This is who our God is. You know, just that, that was the whole point. Moses nailed it on the head, and he got to see his father-in-law saved for all intents and purposes. Well, saved is an Old Testament terminology, but in essence, he got saved. And that that's it right there. That's the whole point. Um, that's why I do this YouTube channel. That's how I try to live my life. I make plenty of mistakes here on YouTube and in real life. I mean, YouTube, I'm, I say real life. YouTube is real. I'm, I'm really here. This is some holographic projection of my thoughts. I'm really doing this, and I'm really taking the time to record this, and taking the time to put it on YouTube. So this is real as well. So on YouTube, in real life, in all avenues, that that's it right there, to show who my Jesus is. And uh, that would be my encouragement to y'all, live your life, those of you who know Jesus, to show people who Jesus is. And if you aren't a Christian, if I could implore you to think about it, because... Our God is a very, very good God. He loves you enough to die for you. So thank you guys very much for watching this video. I love you, and God bless.